I just came out with such a rewarding time in memory so back on like I honestly feel like a true winner even though I'm a loser all right Gabby you're going on tour you're a co-host tell me what that role consists of well I don't know yet because (laughs) this is my first day but um I think it you know kind of is just as the host hoping to help guide the show um, and give it a story and just have fun. So I'm excited to share the stage with Emma. This I think is her 10th tour. Well, I'm excited to share the stage with everybody, but Emma will be the co-host and um, learn from her and just hopefully help the audience have a little bit of fun. What was your reaction when you were asked to do the tour? Because I know you were probably quite exhausted from the competition, but also excited to continue the journey. Yeah, I mean, there was no thought in my mind. Even there's whisperings and somebody asked me if I'd be interested. And I was like, oh, hell yeah, for the whole time, sign me up. So I'm just like a little bit of an eager beaver. But um, I had so much fun dancing. And a tour is a whole new experience that I'll probably never get a chance to do again in my life. So I want to be able to take advantage of it to keep dancing. I really fell in love with ballroom and to try out a new position as the host. It was a no brainer for me. What are your hopes or expectations um, about hitting the road and going to some of these cities and seeing, seeing an audience and stuff after doing the show? Um, I don't really have any hopes or expectations. I like to keep the bar low at all times. Um, It's so new for me, so I truly don't know what to expect. Everyone speaks so highly of it. Gleb was saying today that he really loves just meeting the fans in person, and I think that's something that I'm really looking forward to. You don't always get a chance to connect with them. I mean, they form a relationship with you on TV and social media, but I feel like I would love to just meet as many people as I can in person and thank them for all the support, especially Dancing with the Stars, it's tangible because there's votes. And I know there were so many people voting for me and it really just means the world. So I can't wait to build more connections, build more connections like with the other cast members and um, hopefully just like learn to live in tight quarters. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Are you worried about that? Are you worried about living in tight quarters? Or do you think after, you know, living on a cruise ship for The Bachelor and God knows where else, uh, can you handle it? The mansion? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I've lived in many different places, but normally I still like wake up in my own room. So now I'm going to be waking up to a tour bus filled with other people. And I'm like, you're probably not going to like what you see first thing in the morning. I look just like a ripe old troll. Um, But, you know, I'm sure you get comfortable with each other right away. So I'm just excited for a new experience. Um, Overall, Dancing with the Stars for you, what did that teach you about yourself? Was it harder or easier than you expected? Was it on par? Um, I honestly, again, just really didn't know what to expect. Some, I would... I guess it was harder. Just ballroom dance altogether is way harder than it looks um, because it's kind of an invisible connection that you can't, like the naked eye can't really see. um, But doing it, like I've never had back muscles before. I had no idea what my shoulder blades did, but it's really like on the connection and that's how it looks effortless. Um, But I think it did build a lot of confidence because I was able to perform on a level that I never thought I'd be able to do do and just doing something new and tackling a goal every week is really great I think just for everybody and obviously going outside your comfort zone so you mentioned your body transformation having muscles you didn't know that you didn't have and you have them now and I assume that will continue as you train for this tour what is it like to kind of like feel your body changing <laughs> It's crazy. I mean, I'll be 32 in January. So like my body's really never changed like this, especially kind of um, later in life and unintentionally, but it is wild. Just the physiology of the body and how like my posture is completely changed. It's like rolled my shoulders back and just watching your body transform literally by using it and having fun with it. It's kind of amazing to see. Um, Going into the finale, how badly did you want to win? And how long did any, if any, disappointment last? I did hear you say on clickbait, you heard it was a close call and how cool that was. But tell me about that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, obviously I wanted to win. Like, I think everybody wants to win. Um, And Val and I worked so hard. Charlie and Mark 
are incredible. They deserve it. Um, duh. I mean, she's an amazing dancer and they performed like so many great pieces and numbers. Even as like her competition and a spectator, I love to watch her dance. Um, so, you know, I was disappointed um, just because, you know, obviously you kind of want that for yourself. But honestly, like I had a moment and then took a beat and I really feel like I did come out on top because of the experience itself. I maxed out on the number of weeks I was on it and I just came out with such a rewarding time and memories to look back on. Like I honestly feel like a true winner, even though I'm a loser. <laughs> but it's hey, so you, yeah, the, making it to the finale I feel like means you won like in some sense right yeah yeah absolutely and and it really it did feel like a reward being able to perform a freestyle so um ultimately like I honestly wouldn't change anything for the world well you know you knew this was coming someone else is gonna be on this tour is Vinny um yeah, who's Vinny <laughs> who's Vinny you guys are you know teasing people with these flirty comments what's going on with you and Vinny Cappy I don't know. You guys need to ask him and he's so dead to me because he hasn't been doing any press and I have and I'm like, oh, dealing with all these questions, but he's the one who started it. No, I don't mind. He's so much fun. Um, we built a good friendship on the show and just, I think, like naturally kind of clicked. I think both of our senses of humor are similar. So just like flirting in the comments, seeing where things go. But um, you're going to have to get him on a Zoom and let me know what he says. I definitely <laughs> will. Um, and you guys, I mean, maybe we'll be on this tour bus together and find out if you really are compatible at all. Because is it hard? One, I want to know if you think you're compatible. But two, is it kind of a weird thing to even potentially start a potential relationship when people are already asking you about it? Because you know what it's like to be in a public relationship with speculation. <laughs> Oh my God. I know that's kind of been the craziest part about it is like how much other people love it. And they know like we're just messing around and mm -hmm. they don't even care. So it's just fun um, to watch. And honestly, like, I don't know. It just feels good that people do root for you and like want you to be happy. Um, I don't know if Vinny and I are compatible. I truly don't know that much about him. I was like so tunnel vision during the competition. Um, so, you know, and you don't really spend that much time with the other celebrities but you know there's only one way to find out <laughs> well i mean gabby it's been a year for you you went from the bachelor to the bachelorette to dancing with the stars looking back what is your biggest takeaway or maybe even something you would warn gabby from a year ago to expect <laughs> Oh God. Oh God. Um, <laughs> it has, I honestly wouldn't change anything, you know, for the world. And as far as like warning a distant Gabby, I just like buckle up because it's going to be a ride. Um, lots, I, I'm not even like highs and lows, but lots of change, you know, your, your life gets so busy, um, and you're kind of in a bubble for a couple months and then you get spit back out and kind of have to make sense of it. And I'm learning to live life differently in that way, kind of, um, going from a hundred to zero and what that looks like and feels like. So I feel like I'm just constantly gathering data about my new life and, um, honestly just being really grateful. Cause I don't know how long it's, you know, going to go on for I've been so blessed with so many opportunities so I want to make the most of it and just not take anything for granted yeah and it seems like you've done a really amazing job at least from anything I've seen or watched that you have fun with all of it even when there's a lot of maybe expectations or people giving you opinions you're still laughing and like I that seems refreshing is that how you kind of handle it all yeah, totally. I just constantly want to laugh at myself, like laugh at any situation that's given to me. Um, I feel lucky because I feel like people are starting to get to know me a little more, even through Dancing with the Stars. So I think before people are like, why is she never serious? It's like, I understand there's a time and a place to be serious, but most things, you know, you just have to learn how to laugh at. And that's just the way I choose to live life. Like I always want to be laughing and especially at myself because I never want to take myself too seriously. Yes. Well, when you did go into Dancing with the Stars, your season of the show was still airing. Then we had some outside stuff going on. Then we had the intensity of the competition. Then we had the breakup. Looking back, is there anything you think that you could have done differently that would have made that relationship work? Or was it kind of just never going to work out anyway for compatibility reasons? 
Yeah, you know, um, I do truly think it was compatibility as far dancing does take up a lot of your time, but um, I feel like our time together was never really limited. You know, we would still see each other afterwards. Luckily, we were able to live in the same place. So I think truly it was just getting to know the relationship um, in person because we were long distance um, and before that kind of in a bubble. And sometimes you don't always know the questions to ask or it's up to the other person to really know themselves and bring forth their truth. So I think it was a lot of getting to know each other in real life. Um, you know, I think he is a really good guy. I think we're just not each other's people. Unfortunately, I mean, yeah. not, and it does, I don't want to sound dismissive at all because, you know, leaving the show, you really do want hope and think that this is the one for you. Like, I'm so ready to find my forever person, but I know now that, you know, it's going to come with time and, and I want it to be the right person, not just a person. Oh, I love that. Well, I'll let you get on to your fitting, but where can everyone buy tickets to the show and anything else you want people to know about the tour? Um, it's a really amazing show. We just want you guys to really feel entertained and have a laugh and have a good time. Um, and you can buy tickets at dwtstour.com. Yeah! Killed it. <laughs> Thank you, Gabby. Thank you to everyone who like, is supporting us and coming. I can't wait to meet you guys. You're going to kill it. Have an amazing holiday and good luck on the tour. Thank you so much. It was so good to see you. You too. Bye. Bye. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.